Hello and welcome back to the Paris Motor Show. We are live on the Volvo stand. This is it, this is the V40 that we unveiled in Geneva. Have a little look at the bodywork because this is going to be an exercise in compare and contrast. The V40 has been joined by a couple of siblings. They are the variants, the R design and the cross country, two di very different ideas for the V40, reflecting the different personalities of Volvo drivers. Now, normally in these webisodes, we have a look at the car on the inside and out. We talk to the designer. We are going to do that, but something extra is we're going to get to drive the car. Well, I'm not going to get to drive the car, of course, but Jason Barlow has had his hands on the wheel. He's been up to Volvo's test track and he's taken the R design and the cross country out. Let's have a look at him in the R design. Hi, I'm Jason Barlow and you join me at Volvo's top secret test track, Hellerud, somewhere in deepest Sweden, where I'm just about to put Volvo's exciting new V40 R design through its paces. Well, obviously, R design denotes sport, sportiness. Nice logos on the seat. Lovely, soft, Nubuck leather. Alcantara on the seats as well. Everything feels business-like, and the business of this car is to deliver a more sporty experience. Um, I do love the gear lever as well. That's like something from Tron Legacy. It's the only car I've ever driven that actually has a go-faster stripe on the centre console. I mean, that's very cool. So I think one of the key points with the R Design package is that it's not just available on the top of the range 254 horsepower version of the new V40, which this one is, and very nice it is too. You can have R Design elements on whatever V40 you have. In terms of how it drives, well, a guy called Robert Dahlgren had a hand in this car. He races for Volvo's Polestar team, and it's always cool whenever there's a racing driver helping to optimize the chassis settings in the car, so lower suspension on this. Um, it's different anti-roll bars. Generally, everything's just a bit firmer, a bit meaner. Rebel blue paintwork in this version. Six other exterior colours are available. That is actually my favourite. Love it. And of course, the dials. Ego, elegant, eco or performance. You'll be pleased to hear that it's in performance mode at the moment. Outside lane of the high speed bowl beckons. Hands off the wheel, look at that. Only 320 kilometres an hour. Come on. and it feels business-like and sporty. I just think it's a cool car. You driving around in circles could be quite so much fun. And I'm an art design kind of person, got to be honest. The Rebel Blue R design is here at the Paris Motor Show. It's been the centre of attention, I can tell you, since the press conference uh, an hour or so ago. And guess who's here? He's the man who ripped it around the test track. It's Jason Barlow himself. We can't get you away from this new car. It's a lot cooler in Gothenburg than it is in Paris Yeah, today. it's warm it here, isn't yeah. it? You had fun. Jason, let me ask you, general, we heard your thoughts about the car. A general question, what are Volvo doing here? Well, a big trend at the moment, especially at the, the high end, the premium sector, is individualization, personalization. I think Volvo, what's really interesting is this is a volume manufacturer taking those trends um, into a, a, a bigger market. So, you know, the V40 is all about which, which V40 is you. And I like this one, Rebel Blue, a bit you? sporty. Yep. Well, I've never sat in a car before that has a go-faster stripe on the dashboard. Yeah. And you referenced Tron Legacy, I noticed, in your Good little film, Paul. Nice produ nicely produced. And you're such a geek. It wasn't just Tron, I it was a specific <laughs> film. <laughs> Yeah, well, I know the guy who did all the production design. Oh, on that. Okay. Yeah, now so, you're, now so you're yeah, showing off. Th this is the R design thing, the alloy wheels. You know, this this car is full of lovely detailing. You know, it looks great outside, and you get in it, feels good. And as I said, there's a go faster stripe inside. Brilliant, Jason. Thank you so much for joining us. You're going to join us again in yeah, an hour's we'll time. We're going to talk about the other one very quickly. I want to have a quick chat with Susanna. So. Dragon, be careful you don't fall off the edge here. We're hoping to give you a nice good look at the car as we come round. Susanna, we've yeah. seen the outside of this car, this baby yeah. of yours, yeah. very sporty, reflecting some of your customers' desires. Yeah. And that's the idea, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 
I mean, we have uh, customers that would like to be unique. They are extrovert and they are very into sporty details of the cars. And the inside's quite something as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is a completely black inside and that is very much what the customer would like to see. Yeah. Uh, just point out a couple of things for me. The alloy wheels look spectacular. Yep. Yeah. They are 18 inch uh, and they are in a diamond cut version and uh, it is optional. So for this car it is 17 inch, which is standard then. So this is an option. And you can see that this sits a little bit lower, a little bit lower, yeah. I mean, certainly than the cross country we're going to look at later. And exactly. It's exactly. not just the trim, is it? There is no. a fundamental difference. Yeah, it is. But the, this car is also equipped with a sport chassis and that is lowered 10 millimeters. So OK, well, it looks good. terrific. Susanna, yeah. thank you so thank much you indeed much. for joining us. We're going thank to leave you. you with a little loop around as we have a look at the car. In an hour's time, we will have a close look at the cross country. And it's been a very interesting experience seeing one car with the different variants and the way that they are reflecting the personality of Volvo customers. Join us in an hour's time.